even as a tight end and experienced receiver right now to build some trust and confidence with a bunch of newcomers? How you taking that role? Uh, I feel like I'm taking on pretty good. You know, got a lot of young guys looking up to me, so I feel like it's a lot of my pressure, but hopefully I can deal with it. When you have new quarterbacks, they're, they're, I say new, they're new to us as, as media or as fans. They're not new to you guys. You, you know these guys. You've been around a while. So is there a built-in trust factor that y'all are already developing that we just don't see or know enough about? Is it more about experience rather than trust or confidence? Uh, it's about trust. You know, you got to have faith in your quarterback because they are the leaders on the team, you know. So you got to have trust and faith in them, you know. You know, when they get down, you know, lift them up, tell them, hey, man, just relax, you got it. And, and that's just it. When, when you notice those things, whether it's in practice, you had not had a game with these guys yet, but when you see it in practice, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Is it is it just to, to have them know it's going to be okay, or do you see something uh, more? Are you more critical in terms of getting off your routes or anything like that specifically? No, I just come up to them, talk to them, like, hey, man, you know, just calm down, relax, just see the whole field, you know, look at all your receivers, you know. One spot might not be open. He has to look the other way. So, uh, Coach Burrier has not shied away from talking about Lorenzo Nunez as somebody who's going to have an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Tell us from your perspective what he's been like early on. Uh, he was doing pretty good. He looked good out on practice field. You know, he's still young though, so he got a lot of improvement to work on. But other than that, he's doing pretty good. Following in the footsteps of some guys who are very good at, at the tight end position here, it's it's your turn right now. What's that been like for you from a mental perspective in the offseason? Uh, for a mental perspective, uh, I've just got to keep working hard. You know, I waited three years for my time to shine, so hopefully I can make the best of it this year. Record-setting offense last year. That one of the y'all talk about that a lot in terms of well, let's go let's go set a new number. Uh, no, nah, we really don't. You know, talk about it a lot. We just try to focus on this year, last year's past. So we just try to focus on this year. Jarrell, thank you.